In this session, you will start by placing steel beams connecting the steel columns for the platform canopy columns, and then place timber beams to support the sloped roof over the station building. Select the Structural tab on the ribbon. From the Structural Elements group, select the Steel Beam tool. The Property dialog opens. From the Catalog type Beam Steel, select the Catalog item Beams. Select a section name from the pulldowns. Again, let's set a few data group properties before we place the beam. Set the structural finish to painted. Create a type ID for the beams you will place. Make it B1. You may now want to save these changes as a new catalog item within your data set so that you can easily select it again. From the dialog pulldown, select Save Catalog Item As. Name it B1 Steel Beam and select OK. On the Placement ribbon, set the placement to Top Center, set the rotation to 0, and you will place by 2 points. Toggle on Automatic Coping and set the coping options to Cope to any interfering member. Check that the structural snaps are toggled on and set the floor selector to Station Platform Beam. This will lock the ACS plane and ACS plane snap. The top of the beam will be placed at this elevation. Snap to the top of the column at A1 and data point left click to accept. Snap to the top of the column at A2 and data point left click to accept. A beam is placed between the two columns and coped to the columns. Continue to select each column along grid line A to place beams between each column. Now let's place some timber beams. From the Structural Elements group, select the Timber Joist tool. From the catalog type Beam Timber Joist, select the catalog item Glue Lamb Beam. The rectangular section should be set to 5.5 inches by 16 inches or 150 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Set the structural finish to sealed, and set the structural material to timber. Create a type ID of B2. And for this one, let's create an alternate name of glue lamb timber. Now let's save this as a new catalog item within our project work set named B2 Glue Lamb Beam. On the placement ribbon, set the placement to bottom center, so these timber beams will sit on top of the steel columns. Set the rotation to zero, and the place by method to two points. You can toggle off the trim options as no trimming will be required. Unlock the ACS plane and the ACS plane snap lock. Since you are placing by two points and the placement of the beam is set to bottom center, snapping to the top of the columns will determine the bottom elevation of the beam. Snap to the top of the column at intersection B2. Snap to the top of the column at intersection B3.
the beam is placed. Continue to snap to the top of the columns at grid intersections B4 and B5, placing a beam between each column along grid line B. Then right click to reset. Now place another set of beams spanning the tops of the columns along grid line C. In this session, we have placed both steel beams and timber beams. In the next session, we will add roof choice framing between the two timber beams. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.